Treasurer is defending his government's new land tax reforms, refuting claims it'll cause rents to climb and hurt small businesses. Speaking exclusively to our New South Wales political reporter, Julia Bradley, the head of the budget, Daniel Mookie also blamed a reduction in GST as the reason the state won't be able to return to surplus next year. Preparing to deliver his second budget in nine months, the New South Wales Treasurer warned taxpayers not to expect sugar hits and handouts. There's no point in me spending more money if all of that results in is that the RBA has to put interest rates up higher. Speaking one-on-one -on -one with Sky News, Daniel Mookie foreshadowed relief will be targeted. He blamed a reduction in GST as the reason New South Wales isn't on track for a surplus, putting the state's AAA credit rating at risk. How much of an impact will that GST carve-up have on the budget's bottom line? A very big impact uh, and people will see tomorrow what New South Wales finances would have looked like if we had simply kept the same share of GST we got last year relative to how it looks now that the Commonwealth Grants Commission has taken more than $11.9 billion off New South Wales. The Treasurer claims the move will plunge New South Wales into consecutive deficits but hopes more than $8 billion could be clawed back with careful spending. Can people expect cost of living assistance in line with what we've recently seen in Queensland? Uh, well, people will see this government making a real difference when it comes to cost of living, especially when it comes to providing people relief from high tolls. Health, education and infrastructure will be a focus, as will housing. How we want to build more homes in neighbourhoods people want to live in, how we want to support those uh, neighbourhoods through change so that people can hold on to what they love about them and at the same time we are going to expand the number of homes that are available for our essential workers and we are always going to look to see what more we can do to make sure that the victim survivors of family violence have a safe place to go. In order to pay for some of its promises, New South Wales will introduce changes to land tax following the lead of other state Labor governments. The tax-free threshold for land tax will be frozen at the 2024 level of $1.07 million, rather than being indexed annually in line with property price changes. Do you acknowledge that the non-indexation of land tax thresholds will push up rents and impact small businesses? No, it won't. And I simply make this point. Other states have higher land taxes and higher uh, land, lower land tax thresholds in New South Wales, but they are building more homes and their rents have not increased anywhere near as fast as has happened here in New South Wales. Effectively taxing more people with investment properties as New South Wales comes under pressure to drastically boost supply and improve affordability. Julia Bradley, Sky News, Sydney.